over to the proclamation for <coughs> Census Day 2020. We have Ms. Tanya Gomer and Mr. David Nedbed, our uh, county co-chairs. Commissioners, um, excuse me. Uh, the founding fathers saw the importance of collecting data, and it is actually in the Constitution, and it is mandated. And every 10 years, we collect data. And it is very important for the running of the government, the running of the economy. Uh, you, you just can't beat it. If uh, Target's thinking about locating here, they're going to look at data. If the government's trying to figure out how to get grant money or where the grant money should go, they're going to look at data. <coughs> If citizens are trying to figure out the neighborhood they want to live in or the schools they're looking at, it's data. Everything is about data. It all comes down to every debate has to start with data. So this is a pretty basic thing, and it's a patriotic duty. So we're asking people to complete the census, and we want to get the census count up to 100 percent participation. Um, there's 435 U.S. representatives in the Congress, and there won't be any more than that. At least, there doesn't appear to be any more in the, in the near, near future. So when you count all the people in our district and you count them fully, that gives us more representation in the, U, excuse me, in the U.S. Congress. Um, we have complete, Allegheny County has a complete census count committee. And it'll next meet again January 21st, but it also, then after that, we'll meet February 18th, March 17th, April, um, April 20th, May 19th, June 16th, and July 21st. And you're, anybody's more than welcome to attend. Um, the mailing for the census will go out March 12th, and the official day of the census count is April 1st. Uh, the... The regional census office opened just today, had a grand opening just today, which Tanya and I attended in Hagerstown. So things are getting raring to go. We're getting geared up here. And I'll let Tanya take over. As Mr. Nedved said, um, we are kind of all hands on deck right now in Allegheny County for the census. We have taken what we've received from census from the federal level and also from Maryland Department of Planning, but we've also put our own spin on things. So we've kind of taken ownership that way when we're interacting with the community, they can see that this isn't top fed down, that we've taken ownership and we're going to address things more directly. So with the census, there's some things we need to know. Um, we want everyone to count once, only once, and in the right place. And like Mr. Neved said, it is about fair representation in the House of Representatives because however many seats we have are going to be contingent upon how the districts are drawn and the population. Mm -hmm. It is in the U.S. Constitution, Article 1, Section 2, that says we will conduct a census, and we've been doing this every 10 years since 1790. It's also about redistricting. Everyone knows that Allegheny County is kind of in a weird, wonky district whenever they pair us up with some of our neighbors downstate. So having our census count to accurately de reflect our community is very, very important when it comes to redistricting. Um, it's a civic duty to complete your census because we need to know where everyone is to make sure <coughs> that we are getting our fair share. And it's really about the $675 billion that is up for grabs from the federal level. Responding to your census is really important. The first mailing of five will start on March 12th. That will be the first postcard mailings. And it is so important for people to respond because first responders and law enforcement funding, schools and special education funding, public works projects for water and sewer, Medicare programs, senior housing, homelessness, libraries, community centers, our food stamp supplemental nutrition assistance programs, free and reduced meals in schools, employment programs, and substance abuse prevention and treatment are all part of census data. And my wheelhouse, grants, grants, grants. <laughs> Every grant is all about data. So I need census data so we can apply for these funding sources. Here, here. 
Responding is going to be easy this year. This is the first time ever that we will be able to complete the census online. So when the first mailing goes out March 12th, there will be a postcard that will have a website on it and a unique identifier code. People can go right online to the census website. It takes about 10 minutes. They'll be able to complete their census. If they don't feel comfortable with doing it online or have a barrier, because we do know that connectivity is an issue in some areas in our community, they can call in and do their census by phone. And then the third option is still on the table, and we will still have a mail option for a paper pencil method. And people that don't do any of those three, they're not off the hook, because from May to July, we will have people going out knocking door to door saying, here, do your census. And then they'll have the tools available to help them work through that. Um, the Western Regional Office for the Census did open today, and it represents six Western counties, and they will have over 1,800 census workers, local people working in our community, um, out there being enumerators and poll takers. So the goal is for every county is to hire census workers from that county. So we're going to get people to work, and the pay is really, really good. <clears throat> Responding to the census is safe. Personal information is kept confidential by law. No one can use the data reported on your census. It's only used to do the statistics. It's going to be all about the numbers. Information cannot be shared with any law enforcement or government agency or any court in any way. Some people are afraid to complete their census because of citizenship status or family situation, it doesn't matter. <coughs> census data is sealed for 72 years, and even the President of the United States or ex-President of the United States cannot get that information if they want to go buy a piece of property in Martha's Vineyard. <coughs> I can say that. <laughs> um, what does this mean for Allegheny County? In 2000, we had a 77% completion rate. In that time, we missed out on $11.1 million. In 2010, we dropped down to a 75% completion rate. We missed out on $24.3 million. So if we follow this trend and we only have 75% completion rate, we're going to leave over $32 million on the table. So for something that takes 10 minutes, we ask that you do the census. And this is a sample of some of the local media that we are going to have out blanketing our community. This is going to be a flyer that we're going to have everywhere, doctor's offices, um, public service <coughs> buildings. We're going to have all kinds of swag out there. We're going to have business cards. We have our Facebook and Twitter account, which are active right now. Our website will be active very, very soon. And we encourage everyone, when they see it, to talk about it and dispel the rumors that doing your census is bad. And April 1st is our census day. So we want to know where everybody is where they live on April 1st. So if you have college students, wherever they reside on April 1st, that's where the census wants you to be counted. So with that being said, we have some swag <laughs> <laughs> for everyone. <All> right. Wow. <laughs> Even if we didn't fill ours out yet. Even if you didn't All fill right. it out. <laughs> oh, oh, look out. Thank you. Because you yes. said it was swearing yes. in. And we do have a proclamation for you all if you yes. come one up. And Chris Farrell, he is our regional census liaison. We rely on Chris a lot. Come one up. This is an official proclamation that reads, Allegheny County Government wishes to highlight the upcoming United States 2020 Census and emphasize the importance of each county resident participating in, participating in it. Allegheny County's partition, participation rate is critical. If the participation rate merely matches the 75% of 2010, the county will lose $1,825 per person every year over the next 10 years. We, the Board of County Commissioners, do proclaim April 1, 2020 to be United States Census Day and the month April 2020 to be United States Census Month in Allegheny County. Signed all three commissioners, Creed Brody, Dave Caparelli, and Jake Shade. Thank, Thank you, you all.
just for one second, I can address the commissioners. Uh, on behalf of um, Fernando Armstrong, which is the regional director of the Philadelphia office, which covers the nine state region, which includes Maryland, um, we thank you for that proclamation. It is of the utmost importance. Um, we will be hiring local. Um, those numbers are yet to be determined yet on projected uh, rates of response. Um, but it is, and um, I am the co-rural lead for the state of Maryland, the veteran lead for the state of Maryland for the U.S. Census Bureau. I am a born and raised Allegheny County resident, and as of a month ago, an Allegheny County resident again. So um, uh, it took a little stint in the Army there for a couple decades. Um, but uh, um, so there's a vested interest for everyone in this room. Um, I just want you to understand that, yes, I work for the U.S. federal government, but I am an Allegheny County resident. I have a vested interest in this, too. If anyone on the, uh, any one of the commissioners, you have at any point in time, you have any questions census-based, you want any information, you whatever, uh, Tanya and David have all my contact, and it was monthly, now it's weekly, it's almost daily at this point. So uh, feel free to reach out, and we will do everything that we can do as the U.S. Census Bureau to ensure that there's a proper and accurate count. Wonderful. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, 